Hey, how you doing? My name is Chris. Thanks for joining me here. In a previous video, we talked about Faraday's law. We're going to build on that today. We're going to talk about the factors that affect generated voltage. So if you look here, we have our generator drawn out, very simple generator. We have two poles, we'll call them north and south pole here. Uh, these aren't very good magnets, but there is some amount of flux between these two poles. So we'll fire that on there. And in the previous video, we talked about what happens if we start to move a conductor through a magnetic field. Well, with these two poles, we would get some induced voltage, but not very much. So let's talk about the factors that affect that. Number one, speed. Okay, Faraday's law very clearly states the faster we move that conductor through the magnetic field, the more induced voltage we're going to get. So if I was to rotate my conductor faster, I would get a higher induced voltage. Two, angle. We also talked last time about that conductor cutting at a 90 degree angle to those lines of force was inducing the most voltage. So the higher the angle, the more induced voltage we're going to get. When we were cutting right here, moving parallel to the lines of force, we got no induced voltage. When we were here and moving 90 degrees through those lines of force, we were getting maximum voltage. Number three, the length of the conductor. Okay. We have one single conductor right now moving through these lines of force. We're going to get a little bit of induced voltage. But if I take that conductor and I wrap it around a movable armature a whole bunch of times, it's kind of like getting an additive induced voltage. We're going to get a lot more induced voltage out of that. Okay. Number four, the last one we're going to talk about is the flux density. Okay. So flux density. Now, as I said, this right now is not a very good magnetic field. It's not very strong. These poles are not generating a magnetic field that's very strong. But what we can do is supercharge this magnetic field. We can take a conductor and wrap it around. We'll call it our field winding for now. Okay. And maybe we'll connect it up to a DC source. We'll put a little switch in there. Okay. If we energize this right now, what we're doing is actually creating more induction. Okay, we're creating more inductance. We're getting a stronger magnetic field, and by doing that, we are getting much more flux density. With the same conductor moving at the same speed, because of the increased amount of lines of flux, now we can actually generate a lot more voltage. So, Factors that affect generator voltage, number one, the speed, number two, the angle, number three, the length of the conductor rotating through the magnetic field, and number four, the flux density of the field itself. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helps, and we'll see you next time.